What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Be sure to like and sub, and let's get into this. We have a community manager for Halo Studios that thinks gamers are sexist and racist, so it must be a day that ends in Y. Uh, is there a community manager that doesn't hate the community they're supposed to be managing for? If there are, shout them out. Dear God. Uh, before we get into this whole article, I will just say that while I truly do believe that Phil Spencer, who is the CEO of Microsoft, uh, met him once, a time, once upon a time, like a decade ago, Actually, a good guy who does actually play video games and likes gamers. Unfortunately, while he's CEO, the actual president, Sarah Bond, and now uh, some of the other hires, they don't play video games. They don't like gamers. They don't know what they're doing, and they will ruin the company. All it, it, they're going to ruin the company. It's already not doing well. Uh, them behind the wheels is only going to make you go off the cliff faster. So we can see here, this is, of course, that uh, community manager in a nearly decade of serving in a public facing role in gaming i've never had my passion or work experience questioned due to my ra race religion and gender not even after game delays or severe outages when i'm out on the front line as the bearer of bad news sadly it's no secret that my experience is far different than many game developers especially compared to devs that happen to come from marginalized communities jun zizek Polak, bro come on we got other marginalized communities uh this country sh this contrast shows that we all have to work to do uh, to continue making gaming game development a better space for people to do their best work i appreciate how supportive our community has been over the years and i'm glad to see that continue to this day please continue to do your part practice kindness be human Okay. Uh, comments coming in the wake of Microsoft announcing that 343 Industries was being renamed Halo Studios, of course, and that they were switching over from uh, previous engines to the Unreal Engine. Um, following this studio, numerous gamers began looking into the employees, of course, Mass JT, noted that the company's chief of staff, Melissa Boone, of course, has the LGBT flag as her banner. Yeah, no, we've talked about that. The chief of staff for Halo Studios, of course, and the community managers, that's not all if you if everything has been uh, co-opted by now we you don't need a sweet baby ink or black girl gamers or a gamer x or any of those consultancy companies to come in and ruin things companies have their own department and and employees that are already corrupted because here we talked about them hiring people that just don't know anything about video games really uh boone's experience at microsoft as a principal UX research manager was to be keenly invested in research on diversity and inclusive design efforts to bring more diverse uh, voices into the game industry, i.e. not actually making video games, playing video games, or knowing anything to do about that. It's just, how do we get more underrepresented people? How about you make good games? How about you make good games and then they'll play? Uh, her about section, of course, on the website states, Melissa manages research across several Xbox franchises and including up to and including Ninja Theory, Compulsion Games, Double Fine Studios and the Xbox Store. She also leads research, uh, research in diversity, inclusion and accessibility, because, of course, that is the only point um, of anything here. It also reverse. She's an adopter of the Hispanic racial shirt. Oh, she's using Latinx. That is a slur. Yes. Uh, her research in public health focused on how people's social interactions influence their risk for HIV and substance abuse. Dear God. Uh, particularly with African-Americans and Latinx. Yeah, that's right. Uh, all the HIV in the gay community, it's not uh, unprotected sex. It's not intravenous drug use. It's uh, social media. Social media, great. She's really earning her paycheck. Um, you see this poll conducted back in 2021 uh, found that only 2% of Hispanic voters chose the term Latinx. No, I'm not Puerto Rican. I know plenty of uh, all the Span the Spaniards, Guatemalan, Mexican, everything. If you speak Spanish, I'll probably talk to them and no one, no one likes uh, the Latinx uh, prefecture or whatever it is because uh, shocker, uh, Spanish has male and female. It's a romance language. It has male and female pronouns. Uh, la, el, stuff like that. So, uh, Latinx? No. No. Uh, Boone is not only... <laughs> Boone is not the only one who raised red flags for gamers, of course. As we can see here, Nick, uh, Trittman also shared back in 2023 that, uh, Trittman, uh, that he worked on Halo because it features firearms. I honestly don't think I could work on a game that glorifies... I honestly don't think I could work on a game that glorifies or fantas uh, fantasizes modern guns. I've had moments I've struggled, but the weapons in world is pretty sci-fi, which creates a large enough separation from reality. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Note he also features, yeah, 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 the translator. Yeah, you can guess in all the messaging, I'm sure there'll be a bunch of gay and trans uh, troops. Uh, let's not talk about their statistical accuracy rates with their weapons. And this just, of course, Halo and uh, Xbox in general has been doubling down. Although notably, last Pride Month, boy, they only kept that up for a couple of days as opposed to the whole month. They took it down pretty quickly. So maybe they're starting to see that we're on to the fact that they don't actually care about gay people or black people or women or any underrepresented group. It's called pandering. And even the pandering doesn't work because we all point it out. Uh, either way, let me know what you think. Be sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. Well, well. bye.